Welcome back investors to Ticker Time News. I'm Adam. And to borrow a phrase that Elon Musk used during the Tesla's earnings call, Tesla pulled a rabbit out of the hat in Q1 22 to post strong upside results in the face of a production suspension, supply chain issues, and fierce inflationary pressures. A six down shutdown of its Shanghai factory in late March acted as little more than a speed bump as deliveries surge 68% year over year to 310,048 vehicles. Demand was already red hot before fuel prices rocketed higher earlier this year. But now interest in owning a Tesla is at a fever pitch. So Tesla was able to raise prices in Q1, enabling it to mitigate the impact of a multiple fold jump in raw material cost. The company didn't disclose the increase in average selling price or ASP, but it was probably significant since automotive gross margin surged by 636 basis points year over year to 32.9%. And a positive mix that shifted towards the higher priced Model Y also helped out. Manufacturing efficiencies are the main factor in Tesla's impressive margin performance. Its ability to maintain such a high level of execution in this turbulent environment is a testament to Tesla's workforce, which has become a major competitive advantage and, dare I say, a moat around the company. Whether that exceptional workforce can continue to defy the odds in Q2 or even the second half of 22 will stay the primary concern heading into the future. With production in Shanghai just restarting this week on a limited basis, Q2 is already off to a rough start, but these marvels surely have it under hand, don't they? It could be several weeks before the plant is operating at full capacity though. Adding to the company's complexity is Musk's interest in acquiring Twitter, ticker symbol TWTR. Many worry that his attention will be divided during an incredibly challenging time for Tesla, which could result in a drop off in performance. His presence on the earnings call was reassuring to many, especially since he offered some very encouraging commentary. And quite frankly, if any CEO can manage multiple companies, it's arguably Elon Musk. After Tesla's CFO said that Tesla's delivery growth target of 50% or above remains attainable this year, Musk one-upped him by commenting that a 60% year-over-year increase is possible and doable. He conceded that Q2 production could be slightly lower than Q1, but added that Q3 and Q4 would be substantially higher. Musk reiterated that volume production for Cybertruck is expected next year in 23. That vehicle will be made at the newly opened Gigafactory Austin in Texas, which is currently ramping up production for the Model Y. While cautioning that it would take time for a new plant to reach high production volumes, Musk expects the Tesla factory to churn out 5,000 vehicles per week in nine to 12 months time. From a longer perspective, Musk highlighted the Optimus robot program, commenting that it will ultimately be larger than Tesla's electric vehicle business. Now that's a bold statement. With the robot, which is currently slated to be launched next year with the Cybertruck, it will allegedly be able to perform redundant human tasks including those on the factory floor of Tesla itself. Okay, if I had to pick one concern with Tesla, I think it would be the automotive gross margin and that it could slide just a bit as the new Gigafactory Austin in Texas and new Gigafactory Berlin in Germany began to ramp up production at higher volumes. Overall though, it's hard not to be impressed by Tesla's execution and remarkable ability to overcome steep obstacles. What do you think about Tesla's earnings? Are you ready for the Cybertruck and its robot next year? Let me know in the comments below, as your comments help us all to better understand Tesla. Help us out by smashing that like button, sharing this video wherever you can, and click the first link in the description to beat the market with us.
And if it's your first time watching, click subscribe. For Ticker Time News, I'm Adam. Thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.